Hello, my dear friends. Today, we are going to study about how to excel in the interviews in aviation industry or say the entire hospitality industry. The content what I'm going to present to all of you is we will be starting with pre-interview preparations. Then comes some common questions to expect. Thereafter, we will be talking about the first question and its strategic answer, which is the first question which will be asked to you. And how will you give them a good strategic answer? We will be also talking about understanding the interviewer's mindset, their point of view. How are they going to recruit you? The HR, the interviewer, what kind of mindset they all comes up with and how do they want to recruit the candidates for their company? The next is how to close the interview. There will be few PowerPoints, which I will be talking about. If you all want, you can take down the notes as well. And we will talk about how to, what are the closing lines when it comes to closing the interview. Lastly, I would encourage each one of you to practice your skills. The skills which I will be teaching you will be uh, mentioning you right now. You all have to practice them very rigorously. And last is post-interview tactics. Let's see some of the pre-interview preparations. So before the interview starts, before that two days prior to the interview days, I would recommend all of you to complete your documents. What are your documents consist of? Number one, a copy of resume for each interviewer. Try to find out how many interviewer, what are the panel of HR, well, how many in numbers they are going to sit in the panel. If there is only one, certainly you are going to carry four or five copies of your resume. If there are already four, make sure that you carry one extra plus one copy of resume for each interviewer plus one extra. Next is pen and your notebook. Always make sure that you all have something very handy to write down all the notes, be it the timing, be it any special person's phone number, be it any important persons in the company's contact details, email IDs. You should always have a very handy pen and a small piece of paper or sticky notes or a thin notebook, which can easily be fit in your file. Next is copy of job posting from where you, did you got to see this interview. You must carry one copy of that. From where did you get to see about this interview? From where did you get to know about this interview? You must be able to present that copy as well. If being asked at all, you should be able to present that. And the next comes in the document is if you are carrying any kind of references from any of the people who are in bigger position in that particular company, you must carry a copy of the references. Now, on the other side, we can see in bold, it is mentioned professional attire. So what are we studying here? What are we mentioning here? We are mentioning pre-interview preparation, at least two to four days prior to the interview date you must prepare all these points. Number one is document. You should keep all your documents, also your educational certificates, your resume, pen, notebook, copy of job posting, references, everything should be compiled in one black file or a blue file, a dark blue file. No red or pink or yellow file should be appreciable. Next comes our professional attire. What kind of professional attire you are going to wear? You should be, first of all, well-trained on your grooming skills, on your, on your corporate attire skills, and make sure that two days or four days prior to the interview date, you must wash it, clean it, iron it, and hang it in a very, very safe place. 
a day or two before the interview try on your intended outfit you must try on you should wear it your intended outfit the outfit the dress what you are going to wear on the particular day of interview you should wear it and try it what will happen if there is any kind of stain any kind of rips any missing button or any kind of creases you will get to know immediately and you still have one days or two days time in your hand to fix them and coordinate your accessories which are the accessories we are talking about tie belt socks shoes jewelry etc these all are a list of accessories which you must make sure that you are adding on to your attire just a simple attire may not be good enough if you have a good taste of all these accessories which you can coordinate with your corporate attire will give you an edge over others so pre interview preparation we talk about documents we talk about professional attire now we will be talking about prepare your route and prepare your answers so in prepare your route i would like to suggest all my friends that day or two days prior to the interview please confirm the address which is the address the interviewers are going to conduct the interview and also it should include the interviewer's name i thought it is important to mention here we may or may not get to know the name of the interviewer but we should always try and take out these information from all possible sources maybe you can google it maybe you can find in other profiles also the next point talk about check on internet about maps for traffic construction sites diversion a lot of time when we travel to our preferred destination to our interview destination we may or may not be aware of any kind of unusual traffic which may just arrive maybe you know some construction sites have just started constructing a day before or a night before which we are not aware of and maybe some kind of diversions has been mentioned by the traffic police all this can add on to your travel time and may delay you to reach the interview location in time if you are not reaching the interview location well in advance you will be hazard you will not be able to gather your focus and your you may miss your interview so to avoid you from that particular situation i would suggest that please check nowadays in internet in google map it is easily available to check how is how will be the traffic one hour two hour prior you can wake up put the locations and check for traffic construction sites diversions etc i would also suggest all of you to take a trial run a day before just a day before interview take a motor bike or go on your car or take a auto rickshaw ride and reach that interview location their head office or that particular hotel just the outside to make sure that you know the way correct since we are studying about prepare your route and the last is locate available parking lot a lot of time i have seen that we drive our car or we ride our bikes and we struggle to get the parking lot because of overcrowding because of lot of people ha might have approached to that particular location to appear for that particular interview and we may again lose on our time to be focused to be prepared so always make sure if possible you locate your parking lot and make sure you have a parking for your vehicle immediately on that particular day on the right hand side we can see prepare your answers very well so whatever i am going to tell you today please make a good note of them try to prepare them in a very well manner use recent examples where you excel whenever you are being asked with a question you must try to give an answer with examples 
these examples could be recent examples in your life where you excelled maybe a social service maybe helping a poor person or an old age person these all can add on to your customer service values and can give you edge over others then comes use industry terms or terminology you all must be always aware of the aviation industries interview if you are going for you must be aware of the aviation terminology if you are going for hotel industries interview you must be aware of hotel industries terminology when we use the right terms and not just speak in layman language we create a certain impression on the hr and on the interviewer which certainly gives us an edge over others to crack down that particular interview we will also avoid casual languages we can talk all kind of uh, mother tongue language accent in our friend zone but not in front of our professional people so when we appear in front of the hr the panel of hr panel of judges we should always always make sure to avoid any kind of casual languages or jargons the next point talk about be objective and not subjective you are not sitting there to tell a story and hr may not have all the time in the world to listen to your long long stories so please be subjective talk in points a this happened to me b this happened to me always number them with 1 2 3 4 or a b c d also just talk about the facts and last is include amounts currency name for example dollars rupees time frame you must include that i will take only 20 minutes to reach to your job location so i am an ideal candidate percentage how much percentage have you managed to gain in your education numbers you must always talk in numbers amounts currency name time frames and percentage these facts and figures will help the hr gain the right information about you and judge your personality correctly the next slide talk about some common questions to expect what are the common questions which you will get to hear during your interview in aviation industry number 1 is tell me about yourself this is one particular question which is bound to happen to all of us no matter which position which industry which country or which interview we are going for so the first interview question is all about introduce yourself tell me about yourself hr may present it differently in different language but the answer is same the answer is your introduction so my dear friends please prepare your introduction well in advance because you know yourself the best and you should be able to describe the best of you to the hr the next question which you can expect is what is your greatest achievement always try to mark down and list down your recent achievements which where you managed to help some of the social cause or society or old age people poor or backward class of people any um, orphan child all these will add on to your customer service experience and you can certainly give these as a recent example of your greatest achievement the next question is what are your strengths so you can always list down your strengths and mention them in a very very beautiful way the next question here is how do you handle a challenging situation with coworker or customer you all should study very well your customer service uh, subjects and you should be able to answer if you are being faced by a difficult passenger 
in aviation or a difficult customer in any of the hospitality industry or a difficult co-worker, how will you be able to manage? You should be having a lot of patience. You should have a very calm and cool behavior and you should be right on your facts and good in your subject and language. You will be able to handle the challenging situations with your co-workers and your customers or passengers. Can you describe a time when you went above and beyond the call of duty? You must have an example, a recent example, where you might be working or you might have been given a task by your teacher, by your trainer, where when some challenging situation arised or some particular situation arise, you went above and beyond your call of duty and you were able to surpass the challenging situation and handle it well. What do you believe is your professional weakness? We always ask, we always talk about strength and weakness, the SWOT model. So here we can also expect a question which may, we may have to present our professional weakness. Professionally, where do you find yourself weak and how are you working towards it? Always, my dear friends, use this uh, solution-based technique to this question that this is the uh, field where I feel I am weak in, although I'm working very hard to overcome my weakness and in very short span of time, in no time, I should be able to overcome. Some more questions which you may expect during your interview. Where do you see yourself in five years? This is a very ideal question. May not be five years, maybe three years also. You must have a very clear picture about yourself that where do you want to see yourself in three years down the line or five years down the line. My dear friends, always remember that your future planning should match the company's future planning. If it is not matching, you may not be the right fit for the interview. Manipulate your answer here and your future plannings of next three years should be able, should be right fit to the company's future planning of next three years. Why do you want to work for this company? This is also a very ideal question. I, as an HR, would like to know that the candidate in front of me, why has he or she come to me today? Is money making is the only motive or there is some mission and vision also? So I would like to hear that mission and vision of my company where I am working from your mouth, that you are also well versed with the mission and vision of our organization, our company. If this you are able to answer, that will satisfy my question that why do you want to work in our company, for this company? Also, my dear friends, travel related questions may arise since aviation and hospitality sector is a travel related sector. It also comes under Ministry of Tourism and Travel. So obviously the HR is also very keen on traveling when we are meeting new candidates to hire them for a travel industry or an aviation industry. We would like to know that which all places you have traveled to, what all knowledge do you have about travel and geographical locations, your hometown. I would like to know more detail about your hometown and which are the famous tourist locations in, in your vicinity. The next question here is companies specifications. For example, name of my company's president or chairman. So I might ask you, or you are supposed to know whichever interview you are going for, whichever company's interview you are going for, you're supposed to know the specifications of that company, the entire hierarchy, 
right from the chairmen, the president's level to the general manager, who are the key people, who are the people who are pulling up the entire company, what are their mission, what are their goals, what are their long-term plans and short-term plans. All these questions you must prepare well in advance when you're appearing for an airline industries and airline companies interview. Next comes is attitude-based questions on geographical location. Example, states, capitals, countries, famous person. So whichever hometown you belong to, whichever city or state you belong to, I might ask you, I as an HR might ask you that who are the famous people from your hometown? What state it belongs to? What is the capital of your state? Maybe I can ask you some questions related to the countries, the neighboring countries, the nearby countries. So all these questions comes under geographical location since we are talking about travel industry. Next comes clarification on family background may arise. So I as an HR would of, of always like to know that this candidate who is sitting in front of me has come from which family background. So I might ask you about your family's occupation, where are they working and how their occupation has helped you to grow personally and professionally. Now we will talk about the first question and its strategic answer. So the first question was, remember in my last slide, we were talking about, tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. HR may play with the English, but the answer is same. The answer is your introduction. So how do you frame your introduction? You must frame your introduction in a way that you are talking about five best points about you. Now, what, what are these five best points that you know well about yourself rather than me telling you? However, I can just guide you. I can just give you a way. So the first best thing about you or about everyone is your name. On name, we don't have any control. It has been mostly coined by our grandparents or parents or the people who have majorly influenced our, fa our family and our personality. They are the people. Always take a lot of pride in communicating your name. You should be able to very well pronounce your name. Some names are difficult. Make sure that you pronounce them very well because it is 100% your responsibility that the person in front of you should be able to hear and understand your name correctly. The second best thing about you is your education, your work experiences so far, and your achievements towards working something good for the society. Always mention what education, certification, diploma, any kind of uh, vocational training, any kind of leadership uh, certification you all have gone undergone. Also your graduation and post-graduation, you can always mention some kind of work experience majorly, which is related to customer service activities will help you to crack an interview in airline industry. Also your achievements when it comes to social service will help you to crack an interview in airline industry. The third, what you're going to explain in your introduction is about your family members occupation. For example, my mother is a homemaker. My father is a lawyer. So you might have seen where the mothers are homemaker, they nurture their children and their families very well. So we can add this to our upbringing saying that my father is a lawyer and my mother is a homemaker. So that is why I had a very nurtured childhood. On the contrary, you might have seen where the mothers and father both are working. 
the children are grown very independently they open the keys of the house they enter they serve their own food so that is very beautifully you have to present that since both my parents have been working throughout my childhood i had a very independent childhood nurtured childhood independent childhood how your parents occupation has helped you to grow in your life as a person in your personality the fourth best thing about you is describing your hometown where we live our vicinity makes a lot of impact in our personality so give that chance to the hr to make a perception about you based on your childhoods or your hometown's location always make sure that you talk very very high about your hometown and you should be able to explain the major tourist places famous people and invite the hr maybe to come and visit your hometown as a tourist sometime in near future it also helps to establish a personal rapport with the hr if hr can recognize that hometown and has been all already visited your hometown you will be able to establish a rapport with the hr at very at that very moment the last best thing about you is your goal in life any person who is aimless and goalless is not very appreciated by the society so we will certainly try to present our goals in life and what are the objectives we are setting to reach those goals in life now my dear friends i will talk about understanding the interviewer suppose i am the interviewer and i am the hr what is my mindset how i have come today from my home to recruit n number of people for this particular particular company where i'm serving right now let's talk about interviewer's mindset while taking the interview we have divided the interviewer's mindset in three phases phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 phase 1 my mindset is very clean i see a stranger entering the interview hall or the interview room and i just ask the first question to that stranger that introduce yourself so first of all the entire first phase you can easily learn through a skill development institute a corporate training where you can learn about your introduction which i was just talking about you can learn about non verbal communication you can learn about posture you can learn about attitude you can learn about adaptive nature you can learn about how to greet people and so on so a lot of soft skills life skills will be judged upon on you on phase 1 i as an interviewer my mindset is very clean i see a new person coming in and i started judging and perceiving that new person's personality based on these factors the factors are number 1 introduction of that person non verbal communication from that person postures and just gestures is he or she having a positive attitude or a negative attitude about the environment is he or she is adaptive in nature if my ac of the room is not working is she started sweating and showing that to me or she is fine with it he is fine with it if she or he is able to greet me and my colleagues and everyone even for that matter the peon on the gate so every move will be watched very closely under phase 1 now i enter the phase 2 in my mindset now i get to know that this person is very good in non verbal communication posture gesture good attitude good introduction everything falls in place now my mindset enters the second phase in second phase i want to know okay everything is fine but let me check 
on the technical knowledge whether he or she is able to speak what she is claiming what he is talking about so i will try to derive some questions which are based on the subject or the technicality of it you must know your subject very well technical and skill oriented questions will be arise to you now if you are able to satisfy my questions my mindset will enter the third phase here my mind says to me that okay i can find i can certainly recruit this person but wait let me just ask few more question everything is fine so far but if i recruit this person and and spend on his training and uh, giving uniform and travel so there is a lot of expenditure on time energy and money so i spend time energy and money on making this person valuable to my company now what if this person leaves me in one year's time or say six months time and go to a better opportunity will that be not a loss to my company it will certainly a big loss because i have obviously done a lot of expenditure on this person's training and development so in phase 3 as an hr my mindset says that let me ask you some questions about the longevity how long are you planning to work with us what are your three years plan what are your plans for five years where do you want to see yourself working in this company after one year or after three years intentions or motive to work what are your motive to work what are your intentions to work tomorrow if you get a better opportunity than what we are offering will you leave us and go how long are you planning to commit with our company so these are the questions you as an interviewee would would be answering me and should be able to satisfy my questions expectations from the company what are your expectations from the company what kind of remunerations you are asking for and we will offer you this would you be happy working with us so these are the questions phase 3 will be presenting to you once you are able to answer and satisfy all my questions you should be able to grab the opportunity we will be happy to hire you next year i would like to advise all my friends that whatever we have learned today please practice your skills very well practice makes a man perfect and there is nothing bigger than practice choose a partner how do we practice you choose a partner and determine who will be the interviewer and who will be the interviewee practice questions given and give feedback to each other and then later on you switch places and give the opportunity to your partner or to your friend how do we close the interview my dear friends after you are done with the phase 3 mindset of the interview viewer at last you all as an interviewee must provide a copy of the reference confirm the follow up time frame and phone number that how do we state that how do i contact you from where do i get to know the results for this interview can i have your phone numbers to contact you further restate your interest in the position and why you are an ideal candidate always make sure that before you leave mention a statement again restate saying that i would like to mention here again i'm a very hard working person and will be very adaptable in nature in near future if given a chance i will be performing very well for the company's profitable future and why you are an ideal candidate for this position or for this company always make a very beautiful statement and restate it you have you might have already said this during your interview here i want to tell you restate you have already stated but then again restate it at the end because we are talking about the closing 
thank the interview for their time thank you everyone for your time it was great it was my pleasure to give an interview in front of the panel of interviewers here remember to smile we are in aviation industry we cannot forget to smile